Hey everybody, it's Katrina, the owner of COS Marketing Agency, and today Murray is going to go through a WordPress design tutorial. WordPress is the number one website building tool, and it gives us the ability to add or change anything we want. It's scalable, super fast, and lots of different ways you can use it. We're going to set up a website page right now, and if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below when this tutorial is done. Okay, so you wanted me to show you how you would make a new page. Let's go right from the start here. So from the main page, you'd go over here to the sub page pages and you would do add new page. So you give the new page a title. In this case, we'll call it new page experiment. A uh, couple of things that we would do from here, let me just check if there's anything we can do here. There's not because we don't handle a lot of this, this stuff, which is fine. You could start building it in here, but because we use this Elementor, which I'm presuming is part of the uh, template, crack here, let this load in. All right, so from here, we have your basic page, and this is what you're going to see on every page of the website is this. Uh, so what you'd see, hang on a sec. Okay, sorry for the jarring bit in the recording here. What you're gonna see is any page that you create for cause marketing this is your basics. You're gonna see this on a page that you get these parts. So when we are editing a page, we do exactly what we do with a blog. It's all about drag and drop. So we'd start with, let's say an image, drag the image in, Choose an image. I don't know, we'll go from the media library. Let's go pick something appropriate. Uh, do, 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 do. Images, images, images. I don't know. Let's go find something more to the point. What do we want here? Uh, what is the cause marketing uh, logo? Better if I do a search, it'll pop up. There we go. All right, so we're going to go with that. We're going to choose the logo, select. Boom. We're then going to throw in some text. So we go back to this. You click the button up here to get back to these. And you throw in your text. And we'll do text. We'll make this easy. Put it there. Keep the lorem up some. Let's say you want to add a spacer after the next bit of text. So we add a spacer. We put that here. And then click this again. And then let's add another image. Uh, I don't know, we'll put it here, below there. Uh, uh, we can then mess around with the image, uh, what it looks like, etc. We'll pick an image here. I don't know, we'll go with this one. It seems like a good image. Now, if we were to load a new image in, we would then add the alt text and the description. Why these aren't showing up here, frankly, is beyond me because there should be alt text and description on that image. I know where it's from. Um, but you get all this stuff and then you'd set up your page and then the next step would be to hit publish to get that. But I'm going to just save draft. I'm going to do it again because I want to make sure it's still there. And then we're going to jump back here. So I hit the back button to go back to here. Here's where we determine if it's going to be actually published. Now, right now it's in draft status. I can publish it just like I can schedule it. I could put it at a different time. But click publish it would make it live and then from there you get the basics of your page now a couple other things i should have mentioned in there we're going to go back to elementor here and look at this again a couple of key things when you're building a page you want to think about and all that stuff went away and i don't know why it's like i drafted it and it's gone it's a complete waste of your time i'm sure but okay so we're going to pretend all that worked like it was supposed to uh we're going to have to do it again A major pain in the ass that I didn't do that. Okay. And I don't need this. I don't know why you want the AI. I don't want the AI. Thank you. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, we're just gonna save it. Doesn't matter if you actually publish, it might make it. Okay, so it's saying here that it's live. And if it does that, you don't want it to be. So it's technically not live at the moment. It's still in draft status. You gotta go here to make it live. What? 
No, all of this is wrong. Okay, hang on. I'm pausing a sec because something's weird here. Hold that thought. Okay, so this is a little weird and I apologize for this being a little jittery. We're back to that page that I initially created, which I found in drafts and I'll show you how I found it in a moment. The thing you have to do to any page you create after you've done the basics is you need to go to SEO. You need to give it your keyword phrase. Uh, we call this new page experiment, so we're gonna pretend that's actually the keyword phrase. It'll be new page, helps if I can spell, experiment. Then there's a couple other things you have to do. You have to edit your snippet. Now this is your meta description. Without a meta description, you don't have a proper uh, setup for SEO purposes. This is something that the greater searches find. So in this case, it's I am a new page experiment, which by the way, your keyword phrase should, needs to be in your meta. I am a new page experiment. If I were an actual page, something interesting would be Oops, if I don't type too fast, right? Now, as you can see, you get these little colored lines up here showing, you go away, these little colored lines up here showing if I'm hitting the right spot, this is added text or green. Now it's a good length. You wanna have the right amount of words here so that it's not too little, not too much. If you can get to the right length, you need about 100 and, 50 words usually your best bet is between 140 and 160 i think it's characters not words because i know it's characters not words so you want to make sure you have your character count that's there we're going to save the draft again so you get that uh you can see here where you're making a anything's missing like you can see here that it could really use you need the focus keyword should appear somewhere in the content obviously there should be subheadings with a focus keyword that helps with SEO. That's all necessary. If we back out of here, there we go. See, this time it didn't go anywhere. If it had done the same thing it did last time, by the way, uh, it was located in drafts. And I'll show you what I mean by that, which is this. When you click on the overall pages, see how there's a draft? That's where this page we just created currently lives because it's a draft. If you publish, it'll show up as a published page here, but I don't believe it shows up on the website until you publish via this for the sake here like i think right now we're still in draft mode if i click publish here it'll be published otherwise it won't be in fact i'm 90 percent sure that's the case the next thing you have to consider and the last thing to consider when you're making a new page is the menu this is where we go into appearance we have to go to menus this is how you put the page where you want it visible so as you can see through here this is how everything shows up so you've got your social your seo your ads, your industries, which matches these. Social, SEO, ads, industries. So you would put this page over here, wherever you would do it. So to do so, so you've got your menu here of everything that falls under what. The new page, you would either do a view all or search and you would do whatever that page is. So we'll call it new page. I don't think it'll show up because it's a draft. Yeah, it's not going to show up as a draft, so it won't even show up under a search yet. But what you would do is you would drag, you would click this, add to menu. I'm not going to do it because it'll add it and I don't want to mess with the website right now. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it because I can remove it when I'm done. So we're going to add this back to the menu, social media consulting. You'll see it should be way down here now. Now, to get it as a sub menu, I need to drag it up. So let's say I want to make it part of media. Sure, why not? Social media consulting. I can also decide where in here I want it to be, which is going to be here. Or because I don't actually want this here, I can remove it. But that's something you need to do to make sure that it shows up in here so that it's visible to the world once it's ready to be published after you've published it. Uh, otherwise, it won't just automatically show up in the menu. This is how you can create a page and leave it hidden without it actually appearing so it can still exist amongst your pages, but not be there. Uh, so that is, yes, I'm gonna leave because I don't wanna save anything I just did. Um, the way you can tell if a page is published, by the way, as you'll see here, 
Your option will no longer be published, it'll be update. So anything you do at this point will update the page. So when we decide it's time to update the home page, for example, which should be, it'll say here it's called home when I find it. I don't know where it is in here, probably not page one. Uh, There's always an indicator that it's the home page. Doot, doot, doot. It should show me this, and I don't know why it's not. Uh, all the fun stuff, search and optimization, blah, 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 blah. Why are you not showing me the home page? Where's my home page? Hang on. That's not what I wanted. Don't mind me, I'm cheating. Oh, that's why I can't read it from here. I'm in the wrong spot. Hold that thought. Pausing again. Don't let me throw you off. Okay, so just a thing to keep you this in mind, because this will throw you a bit every now and then. Uh, so I changed how I was originally viewing this. I'd gone to date because I was looking for the page I'd created that I didn't want to exist. Uh, long story. Anyway, uh, you can see here, front page. This is your front page. So this is the home page. So if I go into Elementor, I can look at the home page. Now, one of the things I want to do, no matter what else we do, is move this, which we can easily just move it further down the page, which is a drag and drop feature, like everything else. Anyway, that's basically it for page creation, manipulation, etc. I am happy to answer any further questions. Hopefully this explains it.